Tom Owen Evans. Uh, how important as a squad do you feel that victory was today? Uh, big, I think. Um, obviously, it's a tough place to come. Obviously, the conditions were tough. Uh, first half, we sort of had to ride the wave a bit with the wind. Uh, done well to sort of get the equaliser just before half time. That probably killed their momentum a bit. But, um, you know, we dug in, we went 1 0 down, got it back, we went 2 1 down, and then went on to win the game. So, yeah, everyone's really happy. How often do you get Jared Hodgkiss into those positions in training? Uh, well, this season, not many, but obviously, he's got the, the energy to get up there. Um, I got smashed as the, for the first goal. So I didn't see it. I was just on the floor, like in pain. But uh, when I got up and seen that Yaz had scored, I was buzzing for him. But um, yeah, he obviously won the penalty, the third one as well. So yeah, it's good to see uh, obviously everyone chipping in. Mentioning the penalty, you took the responsibility for it. Um, you're always up for that. Yeah, of course. I backed myself to to score. Obviously, uh, first season I joined there, I scored quite a few of them. But we've not really had any. Well, I think we've had three now, and I went on the pitch for the first two. So obviously, I would have liked to have taken them, but obviously I wasn't. But um, today I was there and. Uh, I scored and that's good for the team. How important was that was that victory given Tuesday? Yeah, big. I think the gaffer said to be fair that whenever we sort of had a setback this this year, we sort of bounced back and we've gone on three, four game winning winning runs, and that's what you need to do if you want to be around the playoffs. So yeah, obviously, like I said, it's a tough place to come and it's a brilliant three points today. And they keep coming because Ashton away on Tuesday, another side that have got playoff uh, con- you know, ambitions. Yeah, well, obviously they're up and around us, so you know. We need to beat the teams that are around us. We can't just beat uh, teams that are lower than us. So, obviously, it'll be a tough test. We've had sort of tough running with the teams that we've played since Christmas, since we had that little break. And um, yeah, obviously, I think their game is off today. Was it at Curzon? So, obviously, you have to see what the conditions are saying. But um, you know, they're uh, a good team, set pieces and things like that. They get balls in the box and they play good football. So it'll be a big test, and we've got to be up for it. Now you've been in heavily involved in the Hereford squad for three, four years. Uh, how how does this compare now? The squad that's been built. I think you can see we've sort of got bodies in all areas now, so obviously the Chief's suspended and Jamie's fitted straight in. Um, like I said, the, the attacking options we've got off the bench, Mo's come on, and obviously Stores has played today and done really, really well. Uh, Pinchy's now back from injury, so he's come back in and played really well when he's come on. So like in all areas, we've, we've got bodies that, you know, if you're not if you're not doing a job on the pitch, then you can have people that are jumping on the bit to sort of take your shirt from you. Obviously Curzon and then Southport, two teams again that are in and around there, that's going to be a big challenge. Yeah, and obviously I think well we drew two all with Curzon, so uh, but we lost away at Southport, so you want to get revenge on them at home. I think it'll be probably a different game because you know when we played there the conditions are really tough. But um, yeah, I, mean, I fancy us to, to beat anyone. I mean, Kitty Tuesday night it wasn't a great game to start off with, but it was even. I don't think there's really much in it. So you know, obviously the sending off killed us, and it sort of we done well. I think when it went three 0 to sort of stop the rot and and leave it at that, but. Um, you know, we've bounced back today and got the three points. What did you make of the goalkeeper foul on Story after seven minutes? Should it have been a red, straight red? I think so. I mean, the, there was a recovering defender around him, but if you look at Tuesday night, then Brandon's in goal. So when the Chiefs, when Chiefs fouled him, he's still got to beat Brandon. So if you're saying that on Tuesday night he's got one player to beat, then if anything, it's more of a red card tonight than it, than it was then. Um, but obviously the rest of the recovering defender he thought they would get there and he wasn't the last man so it is what it is but, um, but in the end it, it, it made no difference it didn't thankfully thankfully but uh, yeah it's one of them thanks for your time no problem thank you Tom, how good was it to celebrate with the fans the, the winning penalty with so many with a couple of minutes left on the clock yeah brilliant I mean obviously they all travelled in their numbers on Tuesday night and obviously it was a disappointing result I'm sure it was for us and I'm sure you know they'd have liked something more from the game obviously it's a derby but you know, for them to sort of turn out uh, in their droves again to, uh, today in the conditions as well. Obviously, I know it's not been tough. I've seen that trains are sort of getting cancelled everywhere to Chester and things like that. So, you know, for them all to turn up and sort of cheer us on and obviously get a winning penalty over in that corner is brilliant. And did you feel the pressure stepping up? Obviously, I do, but I don't mind that. I like, I like that. I'd rather, I want to take responsibility and I want to score goals and I have faith in myself to do that. So, you know, I'd. I'd I'd feel worse. I feel worse when we have like penalty shootouts and I'm stood sort of watching other people. I'd rather be there taking a penalty myself. But um, yeah, obviously, glad it went in and um, that was a winning penalty. Won the game. And did you, you've, you're always going that direction with a penalty? Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think so. Yeah, I, I sort of did change my mind a, b- a bit later, but um, but yeah, I was always going to go that way. Right, one of the differences today was that we seemed to come out in the second half all guns blazing, which we haven't done in recent games. Was there anything said at half time differently or I f- different mindset I f- or just having that goal before half time? I think sort of 
probably the conditions today. Obviously, the wind was sort of blowing uh, towards that goal there. So first half, it is really hard to sort of... You might not be able to tell from the, from the side, but on the pitch, it's very hard to sort of get big clearances and get up the pitch. So we sort of got pinned in a little bit first half. Um, and obviously, the wind sort of died down a bit second half. We sent he has to change it. But, um, but yeah, I think the conditions sort of settled down a bit and I think that's sort of where we sort of hadn't been on the front foot as much in the first half. Maybe we had the sort of second wind sort of go on and obviously the, 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 the equaliser before half-time sort of give us a bit of momentum. Well, congratulations on your goal and congratulations on the wind. Appreciate it. Thank you.